Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining me today and I hope you're having a great day. So after last episode, I thought I'd uh, run around and sell some of my stuff, repair my equipment, get ready for the last episode. And it looks like I have an emperor with me and Joffrey wherever I go. Shh. Thank you. What is it? So where are we going? Let's go outside. Recruiting again. Stop talking. Not a bad way to make some money. So yeah, we now have an emperor and a jaw free going with us everywhere we go, with nice big smiles on their faces. So uh, yeah, I hopped over to Lowen just to sell a few bits and pieces because I can. And we are going to do the last bit of this quest, uh, the main storyline now, which is escorting Mars into the Elder Council chambers. It's just there. So we're going to go to the Imperial City Palace. And let the fun begin. Welcome to the Imperial Palace. Thank you so much. Everything is ready for Martin's arrival. Don't worry. I just want to walk on the big table. Woo! Sorry, childish. I forgot I actually talked to him. Where is Martin? I was told that he had arrived in the capital. He has arrived in the capital. I have footsteps. Yay, we've arrived. I've been expecting you. The full council has already considered the matter of Martin's claim to the Imperial throne in detail. And? Martin can't. Septim, I can't move. on behalf of the Elder Council, Chancellor I accept your claim to the Imperial Chancellor throne. Ocado. Chancellor Ocado, the city is under attack. Oblivion gates have opened and Daedra are inside the walls. The guard is overwhelmed. Courage, soldier. We have an emperor again. Your Highness, what are your orders? Shall the guard fall back to the palace? No. If we let ourselves get besieged in the palace, we're doomed. We must get to the Temple of the One immediately. As you command, sire. Guards, form up and protect the emperor. To the Temple of the One. Okay, so the Imperial City is under attack. Oblivion gates have opened all over the city and Daedra are pouring out. I must escort Martin safely to the Temple of the One where he can light the dragon fires, close the Oblivion gates and save the city. Come here, let's go. What are we all waiting for? Uh, out of the way. Let's do this thing. Oh my god, there's loads of them. Get out of the way of these rangers. Let's get myself into a nice little nook here. Remember the Emperor. Show me what you Come on, take him out. I can't do it all on my own. My god. Oh, I've got any Thing that's going to heal me up. Nope, 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 nope. Wrong button. It's going to heal up. Guys. Guys, don't leave me. They all just attacked me then. Oh, that's a bit better. Hopefully Martin's not dead. Looks like we lost some good people in there. Oh my god. Get out of it. Looks like the guards are doing their best. Oh no, Marin's Dagon is here. So the barriers between Oblivion and Tamriel have been destroyed and our only hope to defeat Marin's Dagon is to cast him back to Oblivion. Perhaps Martin will know. Yeah, that's 
to swipe these ankles. Where do I want to go? This way? Oh man, I think I've gone the wrong way. No, I don't want Mr. Big Boy stamping on me, thank you very much. Daedric Lord. A little bit tough. Oh, looks like I might have a little bit of a respite here. Bloody well, I hope so. We're too late. Mayroon's Dagon is here. No shit, Sherlock. Lighting the dragon fires will no longer save us. The barriers that protected us from oblivion are gone. So can we cast him back into oblivion? I don't see how. Mortal weapons may hurt him. But now that he is physically here in Tamriel, they have no power to actually destroy him. And what about the Amulet of Kings? Wait, yes. The amulet was given to mortals by Akatosh. It contains his divine power. But how to use this power against Dagon? The amulet was not intended as a weapon. I have an idea, one last hope. I must reach the Dragonfires and the Temple of the One. But you said it was no use. You'll just have to trust me. I know now what I was born to do, but I'll need your help. I have to get past Mehrun's Dagon somehow. You could try sneaking. Then I'll do the rest. Lead on, my friend. Uh, follow me. I'm with you. Which way we gotta go now? Don't tell me we gotta go back through that lot again. Seriously? Alright. Martin, not very funny, mate. I'm just gonna heal up a little bit first. Alright, because I got wrecked nearly last time I went through that door. Let's do it then, come on. Getting wrecked already. Come on, boys and girls. Do you want to go this way? Oh my life, I should not turn my back. Yep, 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 yep. Right, can we get past him? Ugly mother, didn't we? Temple of the One. Here we come. How goes? So Martin and I are inside the Temple of the One, and I must get Martin to the Dragon Fires, or all hope is lost. Oh, you're over here. I didn't I see I do him. what I must do. I cannot stay to rebuild Tamriel. That task falls to others. Farewell. You've been a good friend in the short time that I've known you. But now I must go. The dragon waits. He's pretty cool.
the amulet is shattered, Dagon is defeated. With the dragon's blood and the amulet of kings, we have sealed the gates of oblivion forever. The last of the Septims passes now into history. I go gladly, for I know my sacrifice is not in vain. I take my place with my father and my father's fathers. The third age has ended and a new age dawns. When the next Elder Scroll is written, you shall be its scribe. The shape of the future, the fate of the Empire. These things now belong to you. What happened? Where's Martin? I must congratulate him. Mayroon's Dagon is defeated. Cast back into oblivion. We've won! Um, you see that big dragon statue on your left? What do you mean, gone? We saw the temple dome explode. The avatar of Akatosh appear. That was Martin? Yeah, he shattered the amulet. The joined blood of kings and gods. The amulet of kings. The divine power of Akatosh. And Martin's blood too. Then, Martin is gone. But the gates are sealed. Yes, sealed forever. Merum's Dagon and his ilk can never threaten Tamriel again. Martin is dead, but he died an emperor and a hero to rival Tiber Septim. What about the Empire? This victory is not without cost. We've lost Martin Septim. What an emperor he might have made. His sacrifice was necessary, but it leaves the Empire without an emperor. I don't know what happens now. There are troubled times ahead for the Empire. But now is not the time to worry about the future. Let's just give thanks that we're alive! Um, bye. The dragon will stand forever as a memorial to what you and Martin did for all of Tamriel. Yeah, that's a pretty impressive uh, statue. Geoffrey, what are you going to do now? A victory beyond hope. You and Martin defeated Merun's Dagon in the very moment of his triumph. All hail the champion of Tamriel. Okay, talk to you later, buddy. They tell us guide you, my friend. And Boris, what are you going to be up to then? Martin couldn't have done it without you. I count you among the greatest heroes of the Blades. To think we'd end up here after such a beginning, sending an escaped prisoner off with the Amulet of Kings. But I never doubted you, my friend. Emperor Uriel, he had the vision of the Dragonborn. He saw something in you, and he was right. The vision of the Dragonborn? Hmm. I need to go. Talos guide you. And in th fact, I do need to go. This is the last episode of the um, of my Oblivion series, at least for now. If you do want to see any more, if you want me to play through any more of the other storylines, I don't know, do the Blades or um, not the Blades, the Fighters Guild or one of the guilds. I don't know. Just drop it in the comments and let me know. Otherwise, this is it for Oblivion, and I really appreciate everybody that's watched the series. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching, and look out for my other videos. Look after yourselves, take care. Bye bye.